Hi everyone and welcome to our latest edition of Cruise of the Week. I'm James Cole, founder of Panache Cruises and today we're talking about a really special place, India. And today I've got with me Lee Everson. Hi Lee, how are you doing? Great, it's a pleasure to be here. I'm super excited to talk to you about India. As you know, myself and a few of the, the Panache um, employees have just come back from India and it is a destination like nothing else in the world. Fantastic. And Lee, you're the National Account Manager for Uniworld, that's right, isn't it? That's correct, yes. I'm National Account Manager for Uniworld and obviously it's an honour to look after Panache Cruises. Fantastic. Well, let's get straight stuck in. So India, the Golden Triangle, cruise on the Ganges, sounds absolutely fantastic. Just give us a little bit of an overview of, of the itinerary. I know it starts off with five nights uh, in Oberoi Hotel, sounds, sounds brilliant to me. It's out of this world. It's India on a completely different level. Nothing like you could ever experience before. It starts in New Delhi. We use the world famous and some of the finest hotels in the world, the Oberoid Hotel. So we have two nights in New Delhi at the beginning, and then we travel down to, to Agra to stay at the Oberoi in Agra. And then we also travel to the pink city of Jaipur, and we have two nights there as well. But the hotels, James, let me tell you, are incredible. So come on, Lee, you told me about the hotel at the uh, Taj Mahal. What's, what's that all about? And is there something a little bit unique for Uniworld guests as well? There definitely is. I mean, every single hotel that we use on this property really matches the ultra luxury level of our cruises as well. But when you walk inside the Oberoi at the Taj Mahal in Agra, as soon as you walk in the lobby, you can see at the back of the hotel windows probably 200 300 feet in the air and then the Taj Mahal is bang in the center of it wow. so for Uniworld guests with Panache Cruises we've even upgraded the room so they have Taj facing rooms so they can see that beautiful monument during breakfast evening basically 24 hours a day and again, it, it goes a little bit further, doesn't it, for Uniworld guests? So I, I know you get to see the Taj Mahal at dusk, you know, yes. which is fantastic, seeing the light off uh, the Taj Mahal. But, but what, what happens the next morning? One of the highlights of the trip, personally for me, just being there, was the fact that you get to see the Taj Mahal at sunrise. So the way the hotel works, the way we actually do it for Uniworld guests and guests who book through Panache, we literally collect the guests outside the hotel first thing in the morning on an electric golf buggy. We take them directly to the Taj Mahal. Um, so they, we literally go in before the crowds. There's nobody else there. And as you walk in, it is silent. All you can hear is the birds chirping away. And the Taj Mahal looks quite dark in the distance. But as you get closer and as the sun starts to rise from the east, the whole monument completely changes colour and it illuminates into this golden, yellow, orange colour. And it's quite, it's quite an emotional moment. And to actually be there before the crowd and nobody else is there, it's an experience that will, will last with you for a lifetime. Well, I know, I know my colleagues that, uh, that went there just a few weeks ago with, with yourself, Lee, were absolutely blown away by uh, the experience they had. And my, my parents have, have, have done this um, combination of the, the Five Nights Golden Triangle and uh, on the Ganges as well. And I'm really pleased that we've got a, a founders cruise going there uh, on the 18th of October next year with myself and, and some of my family on board. And obviously we're delighted to invite any of our uh, Panache founders members on board as well, which, um, you know, the itinerary is selling really well, isn't it? But uh, let's, let's move on to uh, the cruise side of things. So once you've done your five nights uh, golden triangle, what happens after that? One of the real benefits of doing it this way with Uniworld in Panache is also, I need to highlight this, is you've got the same team looking after the guests from start to finish. So when you arrive into New Delhi, you'll have an amazing cruise director with you from the beginning, and they're there to guide you through all the highlights of the itinerary. And they literally will take your guests on the flight from Jaipur to Kolkata to start what is then an all-inclusive luxury seven-night river cruise. And the ship that we use is our Uniworld Ganges Voyager 2, and it only has 28 suites on board. So it's an all-suite ship. It's colonial in its style, absolutely mirrors the destination that we are traveling to. 
and it is such an incredible experience because the first five nights of the itinerary, you're seeing these wonderful temples, you're staying in these incredible hotels, and it is wow after wow. And it is, you know, it's full on, you get to see so much. But for the, for the second half of the journey, for the following seven nights, you can sit back, relax, sit on the top deck, and watch the world go by to sail, sail along the most sacred river in the world, which is the Ganges. That sounds absolutely fantastic. So I'm, I'm sure you get the usual UniWorld service on board, the fantastic food uh, that UniWorld always serve on, on river ships. But talk to me about these suites on board, because you know I know you know river river cruise ships. You know they're they're absolutely fantastic and a great way to see uh, the world. There's no doubt about that. But the accommodation on board can be a little bit constrained, can't it? They, they are tight. Some of the the rooms on board typical river ships. But talk to me about these suites. They can be, but with with Uniworld, especially on the Ganges Voyager Two, it's totally different because it is an all suite ship. Even the leading suite on board is absolutely huge. And the beds are configured so you can lie down on the bed and look out onto the Ganges as you sail along. So there's a lot of space on board. And also, you mentioned about the dining on board as well. It is out of this world. So guests will get the choice of traditional Uniworld favourites. So some of our real culinary excellence come into life. But we also hone into the local flavours. And that changes as you sail along the Ganges too. And one of the great experiences, and Jason really got involved in this in our recent trip, is a hands-on cooking demonstration. So the chef comes down, he talks about the local influences, his, his birthplace, the Indian cuisine, how it changes, but the guests can get involved as well. It's a lot of fun, and you get to learn about the cuisine, obviously, before you enjoy it that evening. So that's a definite highlight on the cruise too. Yeah, it, I mean, it, it sounds like one of those life-changing experiences undertaking this itinerary. It also sounds really expensive, I think, when you, you think about Oberoi hotels, you know, all these, the, the flight to India, the, the, another flight to, to transfer you to the, um, be, between the, the, the Golden Triangle uh, sites. And, and then obviously, you know, an all sweet cruise, ultra all inclusive, it, it sounds really expensive, Lee, but, you know, give, give us a little sniff of, of what the price is like on, it's, it, it just, it does sound expensive, it definitely does, but it's definitely not, the way that we've set this up for, for Panache Cruises with this exclusive price, it's incredible value for money. Don't forget James, when you're staying in those hotels, you're getting your meals included as well. And it's not just a meal in a restaurant, it's private dining areas for UniWorld guests. When we were actually at the, the Oberoi in, in Jaipur, we stayed uh, one of the nights, he put on a private gala dinner for us outside that nobody else was invited to. We had Indian musicians playing, Indian dancers. It was out of this world. For a price like this, you'd be thinking, you know, 10 or 15,000 pounds. No, just for Panache, we got it just available for just over 6,000 pounds, which is incredible value for money. Yeah. De depending on which suite you of choose, course. of course. Yeah. So, yeah, leading price around about the £6,000 yeah. mark, including flights, including transfers, yeah. including all your meals, including all your drinks on the ship. It does. You know, absolutely. And and most of your excursions as well, Lee, as well. Yeah. Um, so all your excursions are included every single day and the choice of excursions as well. And some of the excursions are out this world. I mean, one of my personal highlights is was actually at the beginning of the itinerary in Delhi, the hotel, the Oberoid Hotel where we stay, is actually in New Delhi. It's very green. It's not like you imagine India to be. The streets are wide, big boulevard streets, and you're in this five-star oasis in the middle of Delhi. On the second day, we actually take our guests into the old part of Delhi, and there's no way we can actually get a vehicle into the bazaar. The only way you can do it is to go on a rickshaw ride. So we did this, the Panache guys that were involved as well, and you go off with your individual driver, actually into the inner lanes. Uniworld is the only company that does it this way. And James, you're looking at 10 feet either side of these alleyways you're going through. There's motorbikes going the other way. There's shop tenders on either side. It's an explosion of Indian life. But you always feel safe. You always feel secure. But it's a once-in-a-life time experience to actually really get to see what the daily life is like for the Indian people. And it's experiences like that throughout the itinerary. So every day, all the experiences are included. And you've got those wow moments like the sunrise experience at the Taj Mahal when you're there before anybody else. So it, it's packed full 
of life-changing moments, but you're also going to be doing it in the highest level of luxury and style. I cannot tell you how incredible the hotels are and the luxury on board the ship. It will literally blow everybody away. It is so good. I know many people that have do, have done this particular itinerary, and, and they've all said they've they've had a fantastic time, and they've used that term life changing experience as well. So, if you fancy joining me and some of my family on the 18th of October, 2025, on this itinerary, it'd be great if you could join me. Uh, otherwise, there are loads of different departure dates throughout the year uh, to choose from as well. So, uh, Lee. Thanks so much. Uh, really appreciate your support and thanks for coming in today. Thanks so much. Thanks, James.